Good morning everyone, it's Gail with Traders Help Desk and I just wanted to go over some charts in a video format instead of uh, article format for the FOMC meeting um, that will be held or announced tomorrow I should say. So on gold, gold is usually the biggest mover off of this market report and you can see that the daily is right at the ATR um, on gold and you're also if this pattern holds and we get a reversal bar we're going to have hidden divergence on the daily and that usually will indicate that it goes up now the last true high on gold was back here at about 1300 so we could actually see gold take out 1300 if the ATR holds now if you go down to a 180 minute chart you can see that although gold is still going down the volume is decreasing on each new low so that's pretty significant in itself as well because if you've got decreasing volume you would not anticipate this market to go down very much further you also can see that the ATR here is at 1271.9 so I would anticipate a retracement at least to 1272, 1271.9, um, and it's likely to flip this ATR if that happens, especially with a lack of selling volume. That's what I would anticipate. On the mini S&P 500, you can see that it came back to test this high over here on the daily and it was unable to really break through it now it could not break the ATR either and when you look over at the 180 you can see that it's at an ATR I think this is pretty significant because we are over uh, extended on the stochastics here and this is where I would anticipate the S&P going down today and if it takes out this prior low at 24.12, then, you know, it's going to be all shorts after that. But it's going to have to take that out. Last time they rejected it, you can see that clearly in the price bar. So that's what I'm looking at. You are making, at this time, you're making, you know, lower highs. And you have made this low that took out the previous lows. So if I extend it out some, you can see that this was the prior low. They took it out here. Now they're making a lower high. So this may indicate that the market is indeed going to go down. You can also see that the volume just loaded. And as this went back to that ATR, you see significant volume divergence on the highs. So I would be anticipating this bar to actually form a reversal bar, in which case it will come down and more than likely try to take out the prior lows. Um, over on the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ has been moving down. Um, let's see what it's doing this morning. On the NASDAQ, you pretty much see the same scenario is at this ATR overextended on the stochastics. So I would anticipate the NASDAQ market to go down. And let's go look at the Dow real quick. I think the Dow was the only one that is not a clear picture in that you're still above this ATR. You're not making higher highs. Your last high was up here at uh, 21,257. So I would anticipate this also to be a reversal bar. Again, you can see there is virtually no volume to this uptrend. Now, you markets can go up on low volume, but this is usually a, an indication that it will go down. I would be looking for a reversal bar on this today. And if that occurs, we're going to see some downward movement.